Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. I'll try not to screw this up. Um, all right, so anyway, as I was preparing for this, I thought maybe I'd say something profound about love or uh, recite an epic poem or say something about how marriage uh, isn't a destination to journey. But I don't know anything about those things. So I wanted to talk about how excited John was when he first told me about Julie. And, and the thing that, so the thing that mo, anyone here who knows John knows that he doesn't get excited about anything. I mean, you can't tell. There's no emotion or anything. In fact, in fact, the last time John got excited, I did some research on this. The last time John got excited was in 1983 when 7-Eleven increased the size of the big old from 48 to 64 ounces. <laughs> Otherwise known as the super big old. But this is really true, it's not just funny, seriously. So, um, so anyway, so it, it, when he called me one day, he was really excited um, he could tell me about Julie. And the thing is, is John, anytime he calls me, it's usually because he's pissed at me for something. You know? it's, it's the, you know, he's the older, responsible brother, and I'm the younger, irresponsible one. It's all yes, but anyway, I gotta deal with it. So he was telling me about Julie, and he was saying that, you know, she's obviously beautiful, smart, worldly, you know, uh, loyal, all these things. Um, and then, so he adds it, he says, oh yeah, dude, she's also from Scotland. And I, you know, John has that monotone voice where you can't understand what the hell he's talking about. So, I had to, he had to repeat it a couple times, but I couldn't quite understand what he was saying. So he spelled it for me. He says, yeah, you know, Scotland. S-C-O-T-L-A-N-D. -E. And I go, oh, okay, I get it now. I said, wait a second, dude. I didn't know Republicans know to spell the name of foreign countries. So when I first met Julie, everything he said about her was was true. I mean, I was pressed right away. Um, in fact, you know, she was, I was more pressed than he even, he even said. Um, but it, it's hard for me to really articulate how I feel about Julie. And I know that you know both of them, one of the things they love to do is watch TV, especially David Letterman, right? So I figured I'd pay tribute to them with a top 10 list. <laughs> And tonight's top 10 list is the top 10 reasons why Julie is perfect for John. Number 10, discounts at Macy's and Michael Kors. Number 9 on the list is Julie's the only woman in the universe that can re remain having a rocking body while still eating bacon cheeseburgers all the time. Number eight on our list tonight is free lodging for John when he plays a round of golf at St. Andrews. Uh, number seven, Julie's condo has 44 stairs, which means that John finally has to get some exercise. Number six, Julie's beautiful, intelligent, passionate, classy, worldly, patient, and has a wonderful family. She's basically the perfect woman. <laughs> Number five, John's brother adores her. <laughs> Number four, John's mother adores her. <laughs> Number three, hell, everyone adores her. <laughs> Number two, finally, there's a woman in John's life from a European country that doesn't drive him crazy. Ah! 
And number one on the top ten reasons why Julie's perfect for John is John's never been happier. So, thanks everybody for coming tonight. Let's have a toast to Julie and John for many years of happiness.